Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do an induction proof. We're going to prove that this statement is true for all positive integers n. So before we do the proof, we should identify what our statement actually is. So this is going to be our statement. This is our s sub n. Alright, so we're going to use induction to prove that it's true for every positive integer n. So to do that, we'll start with what's called the base case. So base case. So in the base case, you have to show that the statement is true uh, for the smallest positive integer that you're working with. In this case, the smallest positive integer is 1, since it doesn't give us any other restrictions. Um, before we do that, though, it might be a good idea to rewrite this in terms of summation notation. You can think of the left-hand side as the finite sum, as i runs from 1 to n of i squared. right? And then this is equal to n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. So this is another way of thinking what we're, of what we're trying to prove. The reason I did this is because now it's really, really clear what it means when you plug in 1, right? So when n is 1, the LHS, that's the left-hand side, well, basically, you just replace this with a 1, right? So it'll be the finite sum as i runs from 1 to 1 of i squared. And this means you plug in 1, and then you stop at 1. So this will be just 1 squared, so it's equal to 1. Boom. The right-hand side, let's go ahead and do it. Well, you just replace all of the n's with 1's, right? So it'll be 1, 1 plus 1, then 2 times 1 plus 1, so 2 plus 1. That's all over 6. So 2 times 3 is 6, so you get 6 over 6. Going kind of fast, so you get 1. 1 is equal to 1, so the base case is proven. So the base case is usually really, really easy in these problems. So this means that s sub 1 is true, right? Our statement is true when n is equal to 1. The next step is the induction hypothesis. That basically means that we get to assume our statement is true for some k. So I'll put ih, induction hypothesis. So suppose... So we get to assume that this is true when n is equal to k. So suppose that, uh, I'm going to use this notation again. I'm going to go back to the original notation in the problem. So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus k squared is equal to k. Just replace all the ends with k is k plus 1, 2k plus 1, all over 6. And this should be true for some positive integer k. So for some positive integer Okay, so that is our induction hypothesis, okay? So now we have to do the induction step. We basically have to show that this is true when n is equal to uh, k plus 1. So induction step. So I'm going to write down what we're trying to show before we show it. That way we know how to do it. So the claim is that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus all the way to k plus 1 squared. Just replace all of the k's with k plus 1's, or all of the n's with k plus 1's. So it'll be k plus 1. k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2. And then it'll be 2 times k plus 1. So I'm going to do the scratch here. It'll be 2 times k plus 1 plus 1, right? That's what that will be, right? So n is k plus 1, so it'll be 2k plus 2 plus 1. So it's 2k plus 2 plus 1, I want to mess up, so 2k plus 3, yep, 2k plus 3. So that's what we have to show. This is not part of the proof, this is just what we have to show. So again, you write down your induction hypothesis, right, and you plug in your k, and then you write down what you're trying to show. So basically you replace all of your n's with, with k plus 1's. Okay, so now we just have to show this. Let's do it the most elegant way possible. Let's start with this side and then just show it's equal to this. So we have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus dot 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 plus k plus 1 squared. And now we have to show that it's somehow equal to this. So this is an induction proof. So in all induction proofs, you're supposed to use the induction hypothesis. So we somehow have to use this. Well, here's the trick. Whenever you have a sum like this, just always think about the term before this. This is really 1 squared plus 2 squared plus the one right before k plus 1 is k. I'd say, well, why'd you do that? Ah, because now we know what this is, right? We know that this is equal to this, right? So we can replace this 
with this. So basically you write this down and then you somehow have to involve your induction hypothesis. So the way to do that is to just simply write the term before k plus one squared, which is k squared. So we did that and now we can replace it with this. This is k, k plus one, 2k plus 1 all over 6. Then we have plus k plus 1 squared. Beautiful stuff, right? Really good stuff. So that's by IH. I'm going to write that. So by IH, induction hypothesis. This is the key step in the proof, right? Again, we just took this and replaced it with this, which is, which is here. Now we need to add these. There's some algebra. So uh, the LCD is 6. Let's put by 6 over 6. This is equal to k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1, plus 6 times k plus 1 squared, all over 6. Let's just copy paste and then multiply that by 6. So I'm thinking now, going kind of fast, but um, we can pull something out, right? We need to get here. So thinking we can uh, pull out a k plus 1. So we have right a little bit smaller here, k plus 1. And then that'll give us k to k plus 1. So k to k plus 1, right? And then plus 6 k plus 1. Plus 6 k plus 1 all over 6, right? So let's check that. We pulled out a k plus 1, so we have k k plus 1, k, uh, k, k to k plus 1, k to k plus 1, and 6 k plus 1. Yep, 6 k plus 1. So we're good. Um, let's distribute this. This will be k plus 1, 2 k squared, plus k, plus 6k plus 6. I'm right, just doing some quick math here. So 2k squared plus k plus 6k plus 6. That gives us 7k. Going fast. This is 2k squared plus 7k plus 6. This will always work out, right? You just go through the algebra. The hard part is, is this step here, right? So just combining like terms. And I believe this last piece factors, let's see, k plus 1, uh, let's see, 2k, and then k. And then they should multiply to 6. So I am thinking 3 and 2. So 3 and 2. And that does work. 3k plus 4k is 7k. The, in, the middle and the outer give you that. Two, three, 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so it's good. So this shows s of k plus 1 is true. So I ran a room. So you would just say, you know, so s of k plus 1 is true. So s of k plus 1 is true. And so by the principle of mathematical induction, you know, we are done. So by PMI, PMI, done. So kind of rush through that because I'm running out of time. Um, but uh, I figured I'd make a quick video on this. Um, not, not, not a super hard problem, just a straight up induction problem. So I hope this video has helped someone out there uh, in the uh, world. That's it. Take care.